What's going on, Wolves? I'm Madison, and my co-anchor today is Katie. Today is the 7th of May, and the countdown is on, with about six weeks left. Make them count. We have a great episode for you today with some announcements. A report about the Interact Club, a feature story about Miss Opie's science class during a lab, and a check-in with some of the girls on the Fast Pitch team. We're going to kick all that off with our Wolf of the Week. Pat, Pat TV starts now! Hey Peck TV, it's Bobo here. I'm here with our Wolf of the Week, Ren Necklison, and we nominated her because she's just been super kind, super thoughtful to like her peers, and she just like uh, looks for just looks for many ways to support her peers in like different ways, and she's just really an inspiration for her peers. And uh, yeah, uh, Ren, any shoutouts? Um, Brooklyn Miner. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations to Ren. Let's go over some important announcements. Today you can support Black Hills Baseball by attending the Tacoma Rainiers game on May 18th. Your $25 ticket includes your seat and a hot dog. Check out the Daily Bulletin or contact Mr. Maha for more details. Do you and some of your friends like to get together and play some rock and roll? This summer at the Thurston County Fair, you can compete in a battle of the bands. Winners will be chosen based upon the size of the crowd, the loudest applause, and by impressing the judges. To enter, you have to submit a video by June 15th. If you need help with that video, contact Mr. Houck in the PAC TV studio. Even if you don't need help with a video, let us know. We would love to promote your band on PAC TV. Check the Daily Bulletin for more details in the email for the video submission. Mr. Houck is taking students to a presentation about career opportunities with the Mariners and will be staying for the game. There are still about 15 seats left on the bus. All you need is money for food. The seats are first come, first serve. The trip is next week on May 15th. Stop by and see Mr. Hawk for more details. This week's feature story covers the science lab in Ms. Opie's class, where students were dissecting a kidney. Pack TV reporters Angela and Aislinn covered that story. Did you know kidneys receive 20 to 25% of all the blood pumped by the heart? Ms. O.P.'s biology class is exploring a unit that's based on an old student that um, a friend of mine had in an old district. He was a football player and he drank about two gallons of water before football practice and ended up by the end of practice he had a coma and was going into seizures. So they're discovering about all the different ways that why that happened. And then this is the medulla and this is the cortex. One of them is about, all about water balance in the body. So they're learning about the kidneys because the kidneys are in charge of water balance in the body. So they're doing a dissection so they can just like track the path of the blood and the path of the filtrate and the urine um, in the kidneys. So the blood enters the kidney through the renal artery and then it goes up to the nephron. So the nephron's duty is to eliminate the waste from the blood. Where it enters the gonus capsule and the glomerulus. Then it enters the capillaries inside the nephrons and these out the renal vein. I think we're over the Waste is removed from the blood. This substance is called filtrate. The filtrate starts inside the nephron um, in the proximal tubule into the lymphocenle. Then the filtrate goes over here. So these openings, this, these are collecting ducts. Into the renal pelvis and out the ureter. And over here is the ureter where um, like filtrate is processed and sent out as urine. Dissections like these allow students to problem solve and apply healthy habits to their daily lives. For PAC TV, I'm Aislinn Griffin with photojournalist Angela Gibbs. PAC TV reporter Olive has been on a mission to shine a spotlight on as many of our amazing clubs as possible. Today, she will be sharing a little bit about the Interact Club. Olive? Hey, this week on PAC TV, we want to shine a light on the Interact Club. Ms. Fulton is a driving force behind this club, which is all about giving opportunities for students to serve their community. This club does many things throughout the school, most recently the lunchtime egg hunt. This club is aimed at students who want to provide for their community while learning skills like leadership, teamwork, and organization. The benefits of joining the Interact Club are meeting like-minded students and making friends while gaining community service hours. Late last week, Bobo caught up with a few members of our fast pitch team to see how things are going. Bobo? Hey Pax TV, it's Bobo Bai here. I'm here with the softball team and I'm here with... I'm Kylie, I'm a junior and I play second base. Uh, I'm Kaylee, I'm a sophomore and I play shortstop. I'm Avery, I'm a freshman and I play first. 
I'm Ella, I'm a junior, and I'm a pitcher. I'm Emma, I'm a sophomore, and I'm the catcher. So guys, I was wondering, what were like your biggest accomplishments this season? Uh, mine was probably doing fast pitch again after I took a break to focus on basketball. Uh, mine was hitting two home runs against Stellicom. Mine was being a freshman starter. Mine was hitting my first home run at the park. Mine was competing with Tom Water on our league game. So what are you guys' like biggest goals for next season? What are you guys' like what are you guys aiming for? Um, we're aiming to make it to like postseason and to get to districts. Okay. So like when are you guys' next home game, I'm like really wondering. Our next home game is Wednesday against Tom Water at four thirty. Okay. So do you guys have any shout outs? Uh, our coaching staff, especially Coach Mike. Yeah, and Coach Chad, too. Because why? Uh, they're always hyping us up and always knowing what to say during the game, even if we're down. Supporting us, and like when we need help, they're always there, and we can ask them. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Wolves, today I'm here with... Mrs. Alviar, Black Hills High School Choir. And um, you guys went on a trip to New York. Uh, what, what did you guys do there? Yeah, um, we went to New York, and the main goal of our trip was to perform at Carnegie Hall, which some people may know is a really historic venue for music performances. Um, we were able to work with Dr. Andre Thomas, who's the head of choral activities at Florida State University, and um, so it was phenomenal. We, we came together with hundreds of students from around the country, and uh, we had a concert, and we also went to a Broadway show saw Wicked and saw some sights. What makes this trip so special? I think um, what I love about the New York trip, which we do every four years, is the opportunity to work with a really high caliber, world-class conductor. Um, Dr. Thomas is also the associate conductor for the London Symphony Orchestra, uh, which played like the Star Wars theme song. So he is world renowned and just, you know, from a musical standpoint, students don't often have a chance to work with conductors of that caliber. And it's really kind of eye opening. And they bring those skills back to our choir as well. And they bring the sense of discipline and rehearsal techniques back to our own program, which makes us better. Here with some members of our choir who recently went on a trip to New York to sing at Carnegie Hall. I'm here with Kai Sale, Annalise Stan, uh, Matthew Dahman, Jason Mead. So what was your favorite song that you sang? Uh, most definitely, I'll Fly Away. That's kind of like a gospel song and it was most fun to sing because we like clapped and sing at the same time. It was pretty cool. Mine was Ubi Caritas. Wasn't it in Latin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was in Latin. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, I was a big fan of um, We Are The Music Makers. Mm. Uh, it's simple, but it's uh, it's a very nice piece. My favorite was Oh Love, definitely. It's uh, got the highest range and it sounds the best. With the S-A-B-T. Yeah, oh, I wow. feel like the bass is definitely performed on that one. That was a good one. Yeah. How many songs did you guys sing? You sung six? Six, six, oh, wow. yeah, six songs. It was, a it was an amazing performance. It was super long. Mm -hmm. And we also saw a lot of other choirs from other states sing, too. It was mm -hmm. yeah. California. Louisiana. Yeah, we, we were with California, Louisiana. Louisiana and um, I think it was Tennessee. What do you guys think was your favorite part of that trip? The performance and the rehearsals. Yeah. We were working with a, a director uh, named Dr. Andre Thomas. He's very, like, uh, well-renowned. Um, and he just, he was, he was a very good director. It was, uh, it, was, it was very nice work. My favorite part was definitely like walking around and just seeing New York for the first time. That was definitely a once in a lifetime experience, you know, just being there and like seeing all the buildings and everything. It was, it was amazing. I really loved it. My favorite part, uh, either the performance, the rehearsals, the rehearsals were fun. They were like three hours long. Jeez. And our director, he was like very strict and serious. He got, he got things done. It was fun though. We're just meeting. Well, not meeting, but. Yeah, I'd be yeah. keeping people. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. The word. Uh, part? My favorite part was seeing Wicked on Broadway and also seeing the little rats scurry. Mm. Thanks for watching Pack TV. Before we sign off, we are rerunning the announcement about our new Amazon store. There is a link to the store from our Black Hills website homepage. Make sure you check it out. See you next week, Wolves. Hi, Wolves. Coach Nelson and the athletic department here, inviting all of you to check out our new Amazon storefront. There you can buy all your Black Hills Wolves spirit gear from the comfort of your own home. Part of the proceeds come back to Black Hills High School, and there's plenty of options. You can get whatever kind of apparel and design you're interested in. There's no excuse not to show your school pride. Visit our Amazon store.